Astro Zapper. With a title like this, this game should be on the Atari 2600. In fact, many iPod games remind me of Atari 2600 games, and that's a compliment. They're very affordable, easy to collect a whole pile of them. And many of them are heavily inspired by popular arcade titles. It's not too hard to figure out what game this resembles. However, there's some differences between Astro Zapper and Asteroids. For one thing, you get to select one of three different spaceships. Each of them have slightly different handling characteristics. The fighter is the slowest, and I generally play Asteroids by just hovering in the middle and shooting everything around me, which is also how I play Astro Zapper. So I chose the fighter, the slowest, the least likely to propel me into something. The big difference, aside from the fact that the iPod has touch screen controls, is in how the game is scored. You are awarded more points for accuracy. Not only do you score points for blowing up rocks in space, but if you can serve your shots, you rack up a higher bonus score. I tend to just ignore that and machine gun everything in sight, figuring the more levels I get to, the more asteroids are on screen, I'll get a higher score that way. That, and I have no patience. In between each level, it gives you your score, your accuracy, and you get a movie quote, many of which will be familiar to fans of Star Wars, 2001, Futurama, and Starship Troopers. You can play the game by tilting your iPod left or right, which I didn't care for too much, or you can disable that and just go with touchscreen controls, which work surprisingly well, except occasionally you'll have asteroids hiding beneath the buttons or your thumb. And I would prefer that the firing button be moved to the far right of the screen and move the thrust button left of the firing button. But whatever, for classic gamers on the go for much less than a cup of coffee these days, you can get games like Astro Zapper. A slightly different twist on the familiar Asteroids style of gameplay. I think the accuracy bonus points in particular make it interesting. And other than that, it's very simple and playable. So if it looks cool to you, check out Astro Zapper.